everyone, so it's currently Friday. I wasn't too sure what to do about the vlogs for my birthday, but I think I'm going to do them as a part one and part two, which is a little bit extra. Um, but it's only because my vlog from yesterday, which is my birthday, is already like 15 minutes and my laptop and our internet takes a really long time to upload videos that are like above 20 minutes and I know that if I put the whole weekend into one video it's going to be really big and it's probably going to be about 30 to 40 minutes and I think I'm just going to split them into two to be honest it's not anything look at me and my massive birthday it's just kind of for the benefit of my laptop not breaking on me and just exploding um I'm currently it's currently Friday the 18th of October so yesterday was my birthday um today I'm just kind of chilling I haven't really got much planned for today um I think me and mum are gonna go to the shop um we have like shops like top shop next home sense around the corner from our home so we're probably going to go and have a look around there. I'm currently just listening to this week's episode of The Girl's Bathroom. I love this podcast. They were talking about, at the beginning, about um, the law of attraction and stuff. So if you're interested in that sort of thing, then you should go and listen to um, their... Is it the second episode of their second series? I'm not too sure, but it's really nice to hear, like people talking about that um so yeah I've currently got a really cozy um jumper dress on that I bought yesterday that you would have probably seen in part one of the vlog uh because it's bloody raining of course um I really hope it's not gonna rain tomorrow because tomorrow I'm going for bottomless brunch with my friends um and then in the evening we're going out so I do hope that it doesn't bugger it down with rain to be honest I'm gonna check the weather just in case oh it's not that far ahead but yeah let's hope it's sunny um I'm very tired <laughs> I'm just constantly tired at the minute to be honest um but yeah that's what's gonna happen I um, just thought I'd let you know what was happening today about the two vlogs um and then later on today I'm actually going to a house party um, I can't really stay for too long because obviously tomorrow I'm day drinking. I'm also having my makeup done at Charlotte Tilbury tomorrow so I'll see if I can film some of that. I'm not too sure if I'm actually allowed to film but I'm really really excited because I get to spend the day with my friends basically. Um, so yeah I really hope you enjoy this part of my birthday vlog um and yeah i'll see what i get up to and i also love this little section of light in my bedroom i feel like i could film like a whole hall here do you know what i mean i thought i'd just quickly show you my outfit that i'm wearing today um and then i thought i'd share with you what my birthday outfit is going to be tomorrow i'm not too sure what i'm going to wear in the day to bottomless brunch but I know what I'm wearing in the evening, I think. So I'll show you that today, because tomorrow I probably won't be able to show you. Will I? I mean, I might, I'm not too sure, but may as well show you now whilst I've got the time. So this is my outfit for the day. I really like it. I tried it on yesterday in Primark and, was like, and I was like, is it too long? But I feel like it is like the right length. Otherwise, if it was any shorter, the, it would just not look great. Um, so I got my knee high boots on again. I need to pull my sock down. Um, I love these boots. I got these about two years ago, I think, from H&M. Um, and I wasn't too sure if I liked them at first because at the time, like, the trend was to have them, like, thigh high, whereas these are only knee high. But now I feel like these are so much more trendy than the thigh high ones. I don't know, I really like it. So this was £15 from Primark. Um, you'll probably see it in like a haul soon. Um, and again, I got my watch on from Abbott Leon. And then this bracelet, which is actually from Pandora as well. It's like one of their pulley bracelets. I think I got, oh, I bought this with my birthday money last year actually. Um, and then I have these earrings in again that I was wearing for when we went for curry last night and I love them, they're from H&M and I bought them yesterday 
I wasn't too sure about them at first, but I think they look really cute and I really like them. So yeah, that's my out- oh Christ, that's my outfit for today. One. It's currently absolutely pissing it down. <laughs> um, me and my mum have had such a lovely morning slash afternoon. We went and looked around Danelm and like all the home shops and we basically spent like 45 minutes looking at Christmas decorations and now we've come home and we really want to put the Christmas tree up which we're obviously not going to, um, maybe after bonfire night is acceptable, <laughs> um, but I thought I'd show you what I got. I got some more um, tea lights because mine keep running out and I need to put some on that little like stand thing, um, so I got some vanilla tea lights from Denelm which were £2 I think and we also had lunch in Denelm. Um, me and mum love little Danelm lunch, it's really sweet and they they have like really nice food and it's quite cheap which is good. Um, and I also got some decorations for my Christmas tree um, which I thought I'd show you. I got this one which reminded me of the Polar Express at the end when he gets given the um, the bell and he can like hear it he can hear it like chiming but his parents can't and this was 79p and I thought that was such good value um so I got that one and then I also got this one which will go perfectly on my Christmas tree I can't wait to put my Christmas tree up it's literally if I was a ball ball I'd probably look like that hello everyone so I thought I would I don't oh my god it's so bright That's better. So I thought I would just update you on what's going on. Um, I'm currently, is it actually recording? So I'm currently about to go to Sam's house and then we're gonna go to our friend's uh, house party. Um, oh, that's good light. Um, I thought I'd quickly show you my outfit and just tell you a bit what's going on. Um, so yeah, I have on this like corset style top uh, which is from Nasty Girl and then these um, snake print trousers from I saw it first I think and then I've just got on my really furry coat and I'm not going to take a bag I think I'm just going to put all my things in my coat pockets and also I've put up this little party thingy because tomorrow my friends are coming and we're gonna um be getting ready um, and I thought it would just be really cute and I've got my little birthday balloon here as well um, so yeah that's looking cute I'm gonna go to the toilet and then I'm gonna head to Sam's house so I'll probably see you all tomorrow for bottomless brunch hi everyone so it's Saturday I got me really quick I'm gonna quickly show you my outfit but I'm off to have my makeup done at Charlotte Tilbury and then uh, off a bottomless brunch and then in the evening we're going out as well sorry I'm picking my nose so this is my outfit today I didn't really know what to wear um, so I've kind of gone casual but with nice boots um, this jumper's from Primark I've got my little uh, skirt on from H&M and then my new Topshop heels which I love and then my Carvella bag so yeah that's my outfit today I like it. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
my food. Yeah. Wait, I, I, I want it to be like, um, what was it? AS, what is it? ASMR. Is that it? Yeah. Wait, <laughs> it's ASMR. Where, where you, where you yeah, like yeah. eat and you can hear them. You can hear like the noises. People get like, no, I listen to like the slime stuff. <laughs> you, you strike this slime punch out. Like that's great. That's exactly what Grace does. Picture me, but ten million times worse. <laughs> Please don't include that. Yeah. Cheers, Mal. Can't see. 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 can Hi everyone, so excuse my really fake tanned face. Um, where is this? That's better. Um, so I've been meaning to finish this vlog for a very long time. It's currently Wednesday the 23rd of October. It's actually my grandpa's birthday today. Um, but basically I thought I'd just explain a little bit about what's happened in this vlog. Um, I basically had my makeup done at Charlotte Tilbury which I didn't really get to film much because I didn't want to just shove the camera in this poor girl's face um, and yeah I'll insert a photo of my makeup it wasn't what I was expecting and I feel like I don't know I absolutely love the experience of having my makeup done the girl who did my makeup was literally so nice and she was just really lovely and it was a really really nice experience and I loved the products that I bought um, from it because with it Charlotte Tilbury I think it's usually the same for like a lot of places where you have your makeup done but basically you pay to have your makeup done but you get the money back buy products so basically you get makeup done for free as long as you buy something so um, I thought I'd show you what I bought um, so yeah and I'll also insert a photo here of what my makeup looks like um, as I said it wasn't what I was expecting I I won't lie like it didn't sit on my skin very well like I felt like I needed to go home and powder my skin and it just it wasn't very me but then again I'm quite I don't really wear much makeup and a lady did ask me if I wanted it day or night and I did say night like maybe a little bit more dramatic because I wanted to wear it for the evening um so I had quite a lot of eyeliner on and I don't really wear too much eyeliner but once all the foundation was on as well I feel like feel like it looked pretty good um, I just felt like I needed to maybe have some eyelashes on just to kind of balance out um, the fact that I had so much like stuff going on on my eyes because um, I didn't have much mascara on um, which is literally my fault because my eyes were literally watering every time she <laughs> went near my eyes and, and then we I had a coffee from Huffkins and we went on to have bottomless brunch which if you don't know what that is It's basically like you have your main course and a dessert or your starter and your dessert or you can have all three and then you get bottomless Prosecco so as much Prosecco you can drink in two hours so we arrived and I love it at the fire station like it's one of my favorite restaurants where I live um, but we got there and the bloke didn't have my reservation and I was thinking I've literally booked like three places for my birthday I obviously had breakfast with my family then we went for dinner on my birthday and then I was going for bottomless brunch I was thinking oh my god maybe I didn't book but then I went through my uh, group chat that me and my friends have and I literally put I booked the table for nine of us blah blah, blah 12 30 um so I like looked at the date that I sent that message and went through my emails and I had the emails and the bloke was like oh you um didn't respond to the email to confirm the date and I was like I got the email I was like it says do so and so I confirmed you know that time is great I was like are you so and so and he was like yeah that's me <laughs> so 
he sat us down we did have a pretty shit table to be honest it was literally just as you walk in but i'm not gonna moan i had a really fabulous pasta as you would have seen um it was really really nice it had it was i think it was sun-dried tomato and mushroom fettuccine which always reminds me of the holiday when they cook fettuccine on was it new year's eve or christmas eve i'm not too sure but um, and then I had a sticky toffee pudding for my pudding which was also amazing the food is absolutely amazing and the bloke was trying really hard I feel like it was really busy in there and I just added another stress to his day but um, so yeah we drank a lot of Prosecco and as soon as I drank it all I just needed the toilet and I won't lie I had to run to the toilet um, and that happened like twice or maybe three times and so we went home um, and then we were planning on going back out in the evening um, but I kind of wish that I'd have just stayed out because Sam was out with his dad for his birthday and they were doing like a pub crawl and I kind of I just wish I'd kind of done it maybe a little bit differently but I mean we're not gonna we're not gonna dwell um, and also I felt like I kind of just slept walk through that day if you know what I mean like Like, I don't know, you know when you look back and think, I really wish I could do that day again because I felt like I wasn't there, which is really weird. And I think it's because I felt poorly because obviously I had a tummy ache after brunch. And then when I got back home, I just wanted to kind of like get into bed. And you know like how you feel after you've had a tummy ache and you just feel empty inside. I know this is quite gross, but I just felt like a little bit sick. And But then so like literally probably about an hour before we were going out in the evening that's when I kind of perked up a little bit and was like actually no I think I can do this I don't think I'm gonna poo myself anymore <laughs> not that I did poo myself but um but yeah I just thought I'd explain god that's seven minutes long I just thought I'd explain a little bit because obviously I didn't really talk much throughout the day my friend well my friend Sarah did a little bit of vlogging for me um uh, so yeah I went to Botmouth Brunch with my friends, uh, Molly, Sarah, Maddie, Caitlin and Steph and we just had a really nice time and it was really nice to spend the day with my friends and then Molly and Sarah came back to my house and they'd like made me some cupcakes and got me this balloon which is like a um, glass with uh, Prosecco or wine in. Um, I had so many bottles of Prosecco for my birthday and after we went for that bottomless brunch I, I was planning on drinking Prosecco in the evening as well and I was like I think if I drink any more Prosecco my whole entire insides are just going to fall out <laughs> so yeah that's what happened we went, we went out in the evening and then yeah on Sunday me and Sam just chilled and we went for lunch at one of our favourite little cafes which um is run by like this Italian family and we just had a massive bowl of pasta and yeah it was really nice and overall I had such a lovely birthday my family are so lucky to have like family and friends who really care about making my birthday special because I know that a lot of people aren't lucky enough to have that which is actually quite sad so I'm very grateful for my family and friends for just making my birthday so special and also for everybody who said happy birthday to me like I had people just messaging me who follow me on Instagram and I think that's so nice like I just think it's crazy like you've never met me before but you're saying happy birthday to me and I just think that's literally the loveliest thing so thank you so much um so yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this vlog. Sorry that this half was a little bit higgledy-piggledy. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd explain. Um, and I really hope you enjoy the birthday vlogs. Um, I'm so excited to be filming more. Um, I feel like I've kind of got my life together a little bit. Like, my room's looking good. Pardon me. Um, I've just gotten some new clothes. I feel like I can like I've got a few videos planned and I'm getting paid next week so love in life um but yeah that was a nice little chat and I'm gonna enjoy my coffee and then I'm gonna have to go to work and clean toilets <laughs> that is the reality of my life <laughs> but yeah it's fine I don't mind uh yeah bye see you next time I'll oh, see you very soon actually bye <laughs>